Hey guys, um, I'm sorry for the really bad video that I did yesterday with um, those sparkle pups. You might remember them from that video. That was a really bad video. Really sorry about that. Um, it was awful, and I like had a bubble gum in my mouth, so I sounded like sloppy. So um, that was bad. But um, guys, I recently got a fan mail requesting me to do some custom stuff, um, like customizing things. So. I'm going to kind of call this my customizing show. So I'm going to show you. I haven't really actually done a lot of customizing. Um, I've only really done like three. This is three. Yes, three. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you those and kind of how I customize them. And then someone actually sent a custom fan mail. It actually has paint in it. And a little note. So that's super cool. And I thought I was going to do that. So let's just see the customs that I had done before right here. So I have this little LPS, Collie. And I painted her to look like a mistletoe, or holly. I don't actually know what mistletoe looks like. It's actually white berries. It's actually white berries, but um, not red berries. But um, I thought that it'd be super cute to red, so, you know. Shirty is white, anyway. So that one was really pretty. I liked her a lot. Then I have this candy cane little doggy. This dog was super fun. Little candy cane colored. Little Yorkie. So she was super fun because I got to color her stripes and little her little red feet and her little red bow. And she's kind of pink in this part too. So we got them. Then um, I took one of these horses. Um, this is one of my, um, I think this is a Schleich maybe. Yes. Or a Brayer. I think this is like a Brayer. And um, this is one of the hair ones, the ones that actually have hair. And I thought that's super cool. I found this one. It was actually black originally. It had black hair and everything, but I just decided, you know, I'm going to make this one yellow, and then I painted blue over the yellow and gave it a really pretty um, soft finish. So this one is super cool. It's all green and bluish, purplish. Not purple. Not purple at all. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's get into this fan mail pack, which does say please custom. So it is a customizing pack that you get. So we have a note, let's read it. Dear M and G, or I think they mean Maggie and Gianna. So dear Maggie and Gianna, you do lots of custom stuff. I don't, we don't do a lot of customizing stuff though. <laughs> um, you do lots of customizing stuff. I found this and thought you should start customizing it. I also included a Shopkin so you can use that too. Please do a custom show. Okay, so I am doing a custom show. So um, let's see what they gave us. So they gave us these little um, pink, paint pots and looks like we have a like, glitter paint pot and then more realistic colors looks like we have some varnish in that one too so, and then they gave us this nice big thick brush that we can use that might be fun and then oh don't fall off little brush and then they gave us this little ring i think we can customize this ring maybe and they gave us this little dog i think this is the little dog they want us to custom so this is a really cute little dog. You can see it's got the pretty purple eyes, the yellow spots, yellow feet. But um, it's a little boring, so yes, we might want to customize that one. And then we have this little Shopkins hat, which is super textured. Look at all that detail and that little face. She's got big lips. Lip. So um, yes, we will definitely be customizing these. Um, so I like these little paint pots that they have given us here, but. Yeah, I like them a lot. So let's begin to customize them. First, I want to do the... Uh, first one thing I want to do, actually, is get down a protective little layer so that I don't make a mess of anything. I really don't want to make a mess and get anything dirty, and I am going to take my jacket off. Yeah, I'm wearing a heart shirt. Nobody cares, guys. This is a judge-free zone. I don't know. Alright, so um, now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do the ring first because it's the easiest surface to paint. So um, I'm going to use my mm, purple paint pot. I'm going to use the purple. Pu 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 pu. And guys, I don't have many brushes up here. So really, I'm just going to kind of be dipping the brush in all the paint pots and stuff. So, yeah. Well, this is an interesting, so I'm just kind of painting it. I'm just kind of custom painting it. And it's not working very well, of course, because I am just dabbing it on. So it's not going to look perfect, but it won't look terrible if I 
do it right. And actually put it on myself to get a better get a better texture. Got more paint. Alright, so it's faintly purple. It's not very purple, guys. So um that didn't work very well, but, uh, customizing, yay. Yeah, it's just not very good, but, um, it's custom, so looks like, well, we'll put it on the horse. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so the horse can wear that. The little brayer horse can wear that. Alright, so, um, let's do the little Shopkin hat. Let's use these little paint palettes to do that. Ugh. So let's use the yellow. Let's just start painting it yellow. Yellow is a really good color because um, it shows up on a lot of things. And it really stands out, so when you color something yellow, um, it looks really different. And it stands out in the crowd, you might say. So, this will stand out, I think. I think it will stand out a lot. So, it's really going on good. So, we'll leave that to dry because, you know, you don't want to have wet paint everywhere. That would be kind of bad. Alright, so it is going to dry right there. You know what? Um, guys, I might go back on the pumpkin. So I might not go back on the pumpkin now that I'm thinking about it. I don't really want to do with the pumpkin. I don't want to deal with yeah, I don't want to deal with the pumpkin. Alright, now I'm <clears throat> I'm gonna move on to the little puppy. So I'm gonna like just rub off my brush on here. Just rub it off really good. And I want to use the blue. Looks like there is some blue left. So if I run out of blue, I'll just use pink. But, um, so we will use some of this pretty blue color. And it's kind of mixed with the yellow, which kind of sucks. Because, you know, I just wanted... Um... Alright, I literally just covered the face. So no going back, guys. No going back. Well, you actually could go, I actually could go back. I actually could go back, but uh, I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep painting the face. Very blue. Nice and blue puppy. So it is looking pretty blue. I think this looks really blue. Alright. Alright, so I kind of have gone over the head on the puppy. I've definitely coated the head once. So guys, I'm probably doing, I am doing a part two to this because I want you guys to be able to see the full, full thing. And guys, um, I have this pumpkin right here. Oh, I already got some paint on it. Um, so I'm going to be taking it and customizing it. I'm going to make it a blue pump. I'm going to get blue. So it's going to be a blue pumpkin while we wait for the puppy to dry. I'm going to paint it um, blue. Make it kind of a cool color. So 
So it is completely blue. I love it. Actually, I really like the color of it. It's very cool. It's very cool. So yeah, I'm doing a part two to this because, of course, you know, um, I only have 15 minutes and it's already been 10 minutes, so like, kind of gotta add, um, wrap this video up. But I really love the blue on this. I love the blue color, so we will have to let that dry. So I'm gonna mix um, the blue with the other blue. I'm gonna mix this this dark blue color with this tan blue color with this not tan blue um, with this dark blue color to get a different color of blue to get a different shade it's probably not going to be the prettiest shade actually it might be really pretty I don't know it might be really pretty so I've coated it with a thicker coat of thicker paint so we are definitely going to let this dry and I'll show you guys um, what I'm going to do next to this custom in another vid. So that will be very fun. I can't wait for you guys to continue watching in the next vid. So you guys, I really hope you guys enjoy this. And this is my big customizing show part one. Look out for part two guys because I'm going to do a part two basically where when I come back when these things are dry. So it'll probably be like... 10 or 12 minutes before I start making the next vid. So, see you guys later.